Welcome back to my channel. For today's video I thought about launching a new series of videos about DaVinci Resolve with hopefully helpful tips and tricks for you guys. And so today I'm going to show you how to easily remove video noise from your footage using DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. So we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 now and the first thing I'm going to do is take my video clip and drag it into my timeline here. Now when looking at the footage you can see that there is quite some noise here actually which becomes even more noticeable when looking at the darker corner here for example. There is quite some noticeable noise or yeah just the, the white walls here in general and even the blue garage entry here there is some noise as well. And so yeah, that's bothering, that's annoying, and so how can we get rid of this? For this I'm gonna use a specific tool, which is already included in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, so you don't need to pay for this. Just jump over to your color page, and under motion effects, here, you can find all the necessary settings, which will hopefully um, help you reduce your noise reduction. At first glance this might look a little bit complicated but believe me it's really just a few settings you have to understand. So first you need to choose your frames here. And so that's basically the number of frames which is going to be analyzed by the software. And so as a consequence your noise reduction can yield different results. If you want the best results, you will obviously go with 5. Now, the problem with that is that there is just one problem with it actually, and that's the performance of your computer. Cranking up the frames will make it not impossible, but it gets a little bit more complicated for you to play back your footage, basically. And so, most people would go with 2 or 3. I will go with 3 here and it will still give you a decent result. For your motion estimation, I usually go with better instead of faster. Uh, just from personal experience I found the results to be more satisfying. Then we have the setting motion range. Now here it depends on how much motion you've got in your clip. In this particular case it wasn't really that much notion, uh, motion. I yeah, simply filmed the door, the white walls and the blue garage entry here, so yeah, it's not much motion here. And so medium will be absolutely enough. I could even go with small here, but yeah, I usually choose medium in most cases. It gets more interesting down here when adjusting the temporal threshold. Now here you really shouldn't go too high with the settings because yeah, cranking up your Luma for example is going to make your image uh, much softer and that doesn't look beautiful in my opinion. So values between let's say 8 and 10 will usually do the job, that's absolutely enough. Motion and blend are fine just the way they are. I usually don't play with these settings here. Then for your spatial noise reduction you have two settings here again, uh, mode and radius. Again I usually go with better instead of faster, you will get much better results. Now your corresponding radius here should be large. Yeah. But in case your system doesn't have the necessary specs for it, you can also go with yeah, small or medium, but usually I go with large here. Since we have already removed a lot of, uh, of the video noise, you don't need to increase uh, these values here too much. So pick a value in the range uh, between maybe 3 and 5, I usually go with 5, and yeah. That should be enough, absolutely. I really hope that YouTube compression doesn't get in the way this time. But yeah, you should be able to see a significant improvement here. 
let me see. Now you have to admit your video is going to get a little bit uh, softer, but believe me it looks a lot better than with the video noise here, down here in the darker corner or here with your blue garage entry. When the video is softer it looks a lot better. Alright guys, uh, this is how you can easily and successfully get rid of the noise in your clips in DaVinci Resolve. Please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.